Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're gonna test out this antique mouse or rat trap that's around 140 years old. Now being so old, it's not in the best condition. The wood's pretty aged and split in several places. The metal's rusty and pitted, but this spring is very powerful and it's still a killer. It'd work well both on rats and mice. Today, we're gonna get mice with it. Now I bought this trap as part of a collection on eBay. Mouse traps from the 1800s don't come by very often, and when they do, they fetch high prices. So I couldn't hit the buy it now button fast enough, even though it cost $250. To me, that's a great deal. I already knew what a few of the traps were, but this one was a mystery to me. I did some research, couldn't find it, so I reached out to a group on Facebook that collects mouse traps and quickly got an answer. This most closely resembles a trap called the Luthwaite. It was first patented by George Luthwaite of Fort Miller, New York on November 4th, 1879. And the patent drawings show a very similar trap with a slightly different design. My trap here doesn't have the wood on the side, but other examples I've seen does have wood to help support this angled piece. And I've already featured another trap similar to this that was patented 19 years later in 1898 known as the Pigot Mirror Trap. It's smaller, designed more for mice, and it had a mirror in the back. The idea was the mouse would come along, see another mouse trying to get the bait, and want to get it first. It'd pull on the trigger and get caught. This one's bigger and more powerful, but it's still sensitive enough it'd work on mice or larger rats. To set it, we have a trigger right here that rotates. There's a hook on the bottom. That's where I'm going to put almond. On top, it connects to another piece of metal that holds up the kill bar. And with these springs being so powerful, you have to use two hands. We pull up the kill bar, hook it in on top, kind of squeaky, and then you latch in the trigger. That's all ready to break the neck or back of a rodent. The animal will come along, want to get the bait, pull on the hook, and when it does, bammo, you got it. Now with the cold weather, I discovered I have an infestation of wild mice coming to my filming studio, so I need to trap them. And this will be a perfect test. I'm gonna go put some bait on the hook, set this up, set up the motion cameras, and see if we can get the mice with this antique Luthwaite mousetrap. Last night, I set up this antique trap in the shop and it didn't take long. We got one of the mice that were coming in and chewing on things. To release it, you pull back the kill bar and give it a little flip. For being so old, this has a lot of power and this trigger system is very sensitive. As soon as they pull on the bait, they get caught. Now, I don't want the mouse we caught to go to waste. We're gonna feed it to wild animals. I'm gonna set it up in my woodshed. People have been naming the opossum that comes. I was reading all the suggestions to my kids the name they like best is Awesome the Opossum. So we're gonna see if the skunk comes along or if Awesome gets the meal. Let's go set up the motion cameras.
All week long it's been very cold outside, it's been snowing, and weather conditions like that can make it difficult for wild animals to find food. It looks like Awesome the Opossum enjoyed the meal we left it. Now I tried to make it a little more interesting so I buried the mouse under some dirt. Opossums have a very good sense of smell. It dug up the mouse and chomped it up. That opossum comes by every night. I'll have to leave meals more often. And overall for being 140 years old this trap worked very well. I might have to test it out and see if it can catch a rat. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider clicking the button right there. Currently I'm posting videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.